moment of the day. Good morning, Jesus. Hallelujah. You and I together, Lord. We can do anything, praise God. And Satan, hear me tonight. You are defeated. And when these preachers and their families stand in the church of the living God, they have the power ordained of Jesus Christ to preach this truth. And preach it, they will. Hallelujah. Preach it, they will. We know the one. The Bible says of our God, it is he that set it upon the circle of the earth, and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers that stretcheth up the heavens as a curtain, and spreadeth them out as a tent to dwell in, that bringeth the princes to nothing. He maketh the judges of the earth as vanity. Yea, they shall not be planted. Yea, they shall not be sown. Yea, their stock shall not take root in the earth. And he shall also blow upon them. And they shall wither. And the whirlwind shall take them away as stubble. We know the one, hallelujah, that's been written about. And we also don't know the one that caused this to be written, minister of God. He said this, but they that wait upon the Lord, hallelujah, praise God, shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That you, Brother Chandler, Brother Leet, Brother Martin, and your families, that you wait upon God. Receive that strength that He has for you every day. And step out on faith, hallelujah. And face this world as an ordained minister of God. Amen. Without fear. But with a knowledge of the power and the love and the compassion that God has placed in your heart. Hallelujah. Oh, we know him all right. We know him. And to fear not is the will of God. To fear not is the will of God. Every morning, every day of your life, remember who you are. Not with a prideful attitude, no, but with a thought that I am an ordained minister of God, called my Savior to preach this gospel. And the ones He calls, He equips. He equips you with that necessary ingredient to fulfill your position. Fear not. It's the will of God. It's the will of God. Hallelujah. Greater is He that is in you than He that is in the world. Walk with that assurance every day. Walk with that knowledge. Every day. Fear not, man, not devil. Fear not. Will God stand strong and administer the holy word of God? Right. Just stand with me, please. I'd like, if they would, please, just in the order that they are, just file right down, please. And then once they get across the front, if the family would just step, the wife, the children would just take one step back and the man forward so that our presbyters. That we want to lay hands on them as we try to live before the Lord Jesus Christ in this congregation. Presbyters, if you will, district board members, just please gather around. If the district board members' wives can you need to come out, we'd appreciate you coming down. Please come down and join. Amen. The man of God is ordained of God and they go wherever he goes. They need your prayers. They need your prayers. Let me read from Scripture again, and then we are going to lay hands on them, and we are going to pray and ask God in His, in His wisdom. Hallelujah. In His wisdom. Lord Jesus. I exhort, therefore, that first of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men. For kings and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. 
hear me, man of God, of the truth. For there is one God and one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time. Whereunto I am ordained a preacher and an apostle. I speak the truth in Christ and lie not. A teacher of the Gentiles in faith and verity. Paul is saying, preach the truth. Truth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good to us. Hallelujah. I charge thee before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word. Be instant, in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heed to themselves teachers having itching ears. But you are chalk before Jesus Christ and these witnesses tonight to preach this truth. Preach it in love, in sincerity, and with the knowledge that you are preaching to the people that Jesus Christ loves. Amen. Brother, lay hands on them, please. And I would like this whole congregation if you will join us as we even now ordain them into the beautiful ministry of God's church. Oh, Heavenly Father, God, according to the calling that you have placed upon each of these men tonight, we pray, God, your anointing power to come upon them. of this 
Thank you for standing. You may be seated. Families, if you may, go back to where you were seated. And uh, if you're bored, you may find a seat somewhere in a few moments. But now we are really privileged to have the Boston Choir. We sing. I think it's a very appropriate time. <laughs> 